Right, versus Area 51. Okay, Area 51 is three aliens, that's right. So who's Aquaman and who's Superman? Both these I guys guess Chef is Aquaman. But P-Board uses... P-Board uses Aquaman, but it's like really bad. Like my Catwoman beat him. Ouch. Yeah, his Superman did... His Superman's very good. But his Aquaman leaves something to be... And I told you, that's the thing about P-Board, is that... P-Board will always say, he doesn't play the game, why is he here, he doesn't play this game. But he'll get like 10 good scalps at Wednesday Night Fights, and then he'll get like 4th or 3rd place. He was telling me, yeah. So I'm staying with him, and he's like, yeah, I don't really play this game. And then I'm playing him, and he's super solid. And I'm like, dude, you're doing fine against me, I'm emo. He claimed- like, Yeah, he claims he doesn't- I'm emo- I'm like, dude, I'm fucking emo. There's, there was one time where he claimed he doesn't play the game, and then he beat Slayer, Crazy, and me on like the same day. And then barely lost to Tyra. Yeah, I- like, he's like, I don't really play it. I'm like, dude, I feel like crap. And he's like, well, you know, I, can, I uh, sometimes beat Slayer in the mirror, and I can beat Tyrant. Uh, you know, and I'm like, what? <laughs> I can sometimes beat, like, DJT in Mortal Kombat. But I'm right. Like, that's, like, that's like saying that. He tried to sell me a build that he doesn't really play MK, and What's-Her-Name was like, he is full of shit. He played constantly. <laughs> he was like, yeah, you know, I don't, I'm not really in practice. And she was like, oh, my God. In Injustice or MK? MK. He was like, yeah, you know, I mean, I play a little bit. She was like, he plays every day. All right. Here, though, Wonder Chef is looking pretty decisive here. Well, he should look decisive. Oh, that was a good whiff punish. Yeah, he doesn't play. And only a real master. Yeah, we're definitely in real master territory. Well, with Superman's, uh, I was going to say with Superman, real master means landing two dive punch bombs. All right, so now we're going to have White Boy. Oh, now, is he a Rebello? Because he did win um, CEO Never Sleeps or whatever that I was. I think he's still a Rebello because, have you ever played casuals with him? Never. Really good. I heard. I've played all the Doomsdays. I'm up to my eyeballs in Doomsdays. He's definitely among the best. Very smart. Actually, uh, Turtles a lot. He favors Doom Turtle style. Uh-huh. Footsies with down one, walks back. Mm -hmm. Very, very interesting. Really strong fundamentals. Really knows matchups well, knows how to stuff wake ups. Mm -hmm. A kind of a basic style, but really solid. One of the most solid dooms. A lot of dooms. You know, you have your Jeremiah style, which is body splash, body splash, body splash. Oh! <laughs> then, you know, you have your newbie, which is down one, down, you know, just in your face. Just ruin your life when he gets to Right, the just nonstop aggression. I would say he's more of the saucy jack, like, learns matchups. Which is, I know that's foreign for a Doomsday player. Like, right. really spaces things out. Really, you know, really knows the setups on knockdown. He's smart. And you're right. He did win CEO never uh, not Winterfest. Yeah, Winter, Winter Brawl, Brawl, whatever that was. Winterfest. Yeah. He beat Deg. Katana he Prime. He beat a lot of good people. He did. Gross. Mm -hmm. CD Junior is my son. Hey, Gross beat Chris G at uh, Kumite. So. That's true. Chris G is my son. I am his father. That Pick up hot. Pretty. I beat you in casual. That sounds British. Why does Gross sound like a robot? Is that racist? No, he does. Anyway, Aquaman versus Doomsday. This has been hotly anticipated. You, you main Aquaman. You're known as a top three Aquaman. <laughs> how would you? How, what do you think of this match? I think Aquaman has a slight advantage because his trainer rush is good to get Doomsday off the trait, and he can punish the Urshan trait as well. Yeah, that makes sense. Do you? But isn't there like some like catch behind it? Like you have to be stand blocking or some kind of business like that. Um, you, you have to low block the first hit, and then the second And then hit. transition? Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Here we go, Aquaman in the corner. Now, there's, oh. there's one tech that Florida uses. Though. They take the last hit of the Trina Rush when they're in treatment, and then they punish with a shoulder charge. Yes, I have heard about that. And you just saw right there, he, reversed, he made his wake-up reverse. Smart uh -huh. stuff from White Boy. With Aquaman, you have no choice when you're in the corner. Just, just take it. You're not going to wake up. It's right. It's not going to happen. If, if Aquaman has one glaring weakness, I always repeat it, it's his wake-ups are not fully invincible. And that's a, it's, believe me, I hate Aquaman. That is a glaring weakness. It is. And here we go. With Aquaman, as much as you bypass a lot of fundamental requirements, you do have to have good defense on weak, at least. Right, right. It, yeah, that's just, you really got to be on point with blocking with Aquaman or you're done when you get knocked down. Yeah. And Chef is really Oh, yeah, he's really struggling here. He really never could get out of the corner, and that was it. White yep. Boy takes it. Mm -hmm. The story of that match was simple. He pushed you in the corner, and... It's over. It's over. Now, did White Boy... Did White Boy beat the fourth best Aquaman, you would say? Where was Chef stand in the Aquaman tier list? The pantheon of Aquaman? 
Obviously, let's go over the top Aquaman right now. Rico Suave. Tom. Uh, Tom. Wound Rick. Cowboy. Wound Cowboy. GGA Dizzy. Michelangelo. Michelangelo. Flawzilla. Flawzilla, of course. Mm -hmm. Baifu Insane. Yes. 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 Uh, GGA Sunk. Yes. I would say Sunk is like two, two, two or, or three. Th yeah, yeah two, two or three. Or th mm -hmm. um, who else is there? Let's mention Michelangelo again. Michelangelo, veteran of MK, yes. former best cabal many yeah. moons ago. Here's Obviously, there's Baifu Insane, as we said. Yes. Here's something funny, though. When the game first launched, Chef was the best Aquaman. He was. He got second at the first ones in that fight. I feel like there's an Aquaman we're forgetting, though. There's someone... It's White, on the, White Boy beat Katana Prime. With, with Aquaman. Yes. So he's on that list. There's, But there's an Aquaman that I can't... I can't put my finger on it. I just saw him, too. We said Flodzilla. It's like a... P-Board. P-Board. P-Board, known to have an alt Aquaman. That's yes, right. a very good one. Extremely good. We just got finished saying his Aquaman wasn't that good. But uh, obviously, uh, it's a sports star. Uh, it, Tiki Barber? EMP Tiki Barber is Aquaman? Oh, that's right. Who did Tom Brady. Yes. Tom Br Bill Minutis. Oh, my God. He, his Aquaman is pretty good. He did beat Zyfox. He beat Zyfox and that Viking guy, Zod. Yes. Let's put Tom in the top ten Aquaman discussion. Nine or eight. Nine, yeah. Yeah. He's like on the same tier list as Catwoman. Right. <laughs> My phone, I'm glad it's dead, so I don't yes. get blown up by texts. You're not. <laughs> thankfully, you won't get the phone call. Right. Hours from now when I charge my phone, five messages. Man. And you know what's kind of funny? We were saying White Boy's a Rebello, and he's just running a train. He, he is. He's looking strong here. He is in pool one with PPJ, Filipino Man, Guamo, Guamo Nubcakes. Nubcakes, yeah. Nubcakes, White Boy first round. They changed that. I saw that, but they actually changed that. Mm -hmm. They will meet very early if they win, though. I see. Yeah, I... White Boy's the real deal. He is super smart. And actually, it's a little known fact. Normally, Jeremiah's in charge of suggesting uh, Doomsday buffs to me. Uh -huh. But he's given that power to White Boy this weekend to offer Doomsday buffs to me. Oh, White Boy's kind of yeah. good, guys. Guys, I think White Boy might be good. He does more than just down one Earthshaker, unlike me. <laughs> Shout out to Jeremiah for scalping Forever King Jr. Yeah, that was awesome. Here we go. Oh, this could be... Oh, my God. This is supposed to say Flash does so much damage. Okay. This paves way to White Boy versus Ducky. That's going to be a good match. The story of this match is so simple. Everyone but Ducky says that's a terrible match for Raven. Ducky, a known Raven up player, is just like, nah, it's whatever. And then he beat Newbie. But everybody said, well, Newbie didn't play the match correctly. Because as good as Newbie, Newbie is very good at rushdown. He grabs his stick in his hand, uh -huh. and he's slamming. You can literally hear him slam the buttons. Yes. Patience is not something Newbie's known for. It is not. That's not even in his vocabulary. He doesn't know anything about patience. Which is ironic because he has amazing reactions. Yeah, he actually does, which is weird. White Boy is the exact... White Boy and Newbie are actually training partners. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of training partners who remain the same character, but... And as I was saying, White Boy is the exact opposite. Justin Wong and Ricky Ortiz, though. Fair enough. Yeah. I, that was a blow up. Mm -hmm. That was embarrassing. Yeah. That was bad. That, that makes up for me embarrassing myself a little earlier. Yeah. All right. You're right. I now have to turn in my Evo medal. <laughs> and I know, I actually, as you know, I have my ear to the ground. Uh huh. I know these played casuals at NEC and White Boy won, apparently. Really? Apparently. But Ducky, the rumor is he's better in tournament than casuals. That's not a rumor. He just told me that last night. To, to confirm that, though, I did win a set on him in casuals after he beat me at NEC. Yeah. Ducky actually just flat out said that yesterday. He was like, I'm the best in tournament, not casuals. Hold that. <laughs> so we'll see. Well, this is, technically this isn't really casuals, though. So. True. This is one step above ca I have a tier list. Did you know that? Of, of, of what matters. Yeah, I have a tier list. Go on. All right. There's casuals. Yes. <laughs> then, there's, then there's money matches. Okay. Then there's team battles. Uh -huh. Then there's tournament. And, there's tournament. So and then like there's Evo. That's yeah. That's a. So oh, money match. Yeah, money matches is second. So Casuals. So that's why Tommy's considered the best in the world, because he's saying casuals count above all else. Well, Tommy's also a known idiot. Anyway, very good blocking. Oh my God. 
Uh, he just punished Crush with Toolbox, and she backdashed. That actually happened, guys. Wow. What's that? Oh, good punish. Notice the second hit of that uh, Earthshaker whiffed on floating characters. Yes, it does. And maybe that's why Ducky thinks this is a good matchup for Raven. I, yeah, I don't think it's that he thinks it's a good matchup. He just says it's not as bad as people say. But, oh, the thing about Raven is as good as her zoning is, when you knock her down, she is done. She does not have a fully invincible wake-up attack, and a guy as smart as White Boy can take advantage of that. So at the same time, though, Raven's lift has an amazing vertical hitbox, so you can't jump into her. On it's Raven. true, right? It's tr all you got to you just got to master stuffing her wake ups, uh -huh. and this is a bad situation. Even if he gets out of the corner, he's gonna have a really hard time making this comeback when she's such a chip based character. Yes. Oh, that Earthshaker's still whiffing. That was good. That was good. Make her clash. I like that. Do you think White Boy will keep the bar or not for Barge? Newbie loves to keep the bar for Barge, so let's see. And uh, He keeps the Barge, Jeremiah style. Oh, I want my bar! <laughs> wake up teleport, that's smart. That's her one good wake up attack. Doomsday's fat body can't duck that. Oh, here we go. That, that's He's in so, the grinder. That's so smart. He, he went for the Earthshaker right after the shoulder. And White Boy takes it decisively. 